y'all, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So if you're thinking about moving to the San Francisco Bay Area for college, this is going to be the perfect video for you. And if you're new to my channel, I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in San Francisco. So if you're thinking about moving to the Bay Area, or maybe you live in the Bay Area, or maybe you're just single navigating the dating world, wherever the case may be, go ahead and subscribe down below as I post new content every Monday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about colleges in the Bay Area. Full on disclosure, I want to admit that I have not attended university or college in the San Francisco Bay Area, but after living here for over four years now, I've learned a lot about all the different schools in the area, and plus I've had a lot of subscribers who are young, in their teens, looking to go to college and the Bay Area is on their mind, so this video is for y'all. So let's talk about the first college campus in the Bay Area. This one is quite popular and that is University of California, Berkeley, or also known as UC Berkeley. So UC Berkeley is, well, located in Berkeley, California on the East Bay. It's got a very strict acceptance rate at 15%. I will say that the deadline has passed if you want to apply to the university, and that deadline is November 30th. But of course this is evergreen content, so if you stumble upon this video in the fall, then this is the perfect time to watch this video and get your butt applying to UC Berkeley. I want to say that Berkeley's campus is very diverse, which is one great thing about UC Berkeley's campus. The tuition is very expensive if you are out of state. It's going to cost you 44 k but if you're in state, it's going to cost you a little over 14 k To note about some majors that are great to study if you want to attend this university is computer science, political science, any kind of engineering, economics, biology, and business. The school is a lot challenging to get in if you aren't from the state of California, but I want to say that there are a lot of international students that attended this university. So if UC Berkeley is a campus on your mind and you're thinking about wanting to study one of those majors that I mentioned, that UC Berkeley would be a great school for you, and it is a public school. So that's another great thing about it, especially if public schools are what you're looking for. Next popular school that you probably know that's also located in the Bay Area is Stanford University. Stanford is a private school located in Stanford, California, but Stanford is technically Palo Alto, so we'll just say Palo Alto for now. But anyway, Stanford, as we know, is a very prestigious university, and they have an acceptance rate of 4%. It is so, so tough to get into this school. But please do not be discouraged because you should always still apply if you can meet their requirements. The deadline for applying to be a student at Stanford has passed. It was on January 2nd, but if you are thinking about transferring to Stanford, then you have until March 15th. So be sure to get on those applications if you are thinking about transferring. Tuition is, it's pretty, pretty rough. Because it's a private school, it is going to be more expensive. And tuition is looking around $18,000 per quarter. So that is one thing that you need to know about Stanford is that they don't have semesters, they have quarters. So that's a lot of money that you're spending in one year. It is pretty brutal, but they do offer a lot of financial aid. So that is something you really need to look into if you want to attend Stanford. So what are some great majors that you want to study if you think about doing an undergrad education here? So computer science, any kind of engineering, biology, and economics are going to be some of the top things that people choose to study at Stanford. But if you're thinking about doing grad school, then I definitely recommend maybe checking out their MBA program. They got a great law school and they have a great med school as well. So there's some great opportunities that you can think about doing if you're doing post undergraduate education. The third school that I'm going to talk about is located in San Francisco and that is San Francisco State University, also known as SF State. So SF State is a public school and it is definitely going to be a lot cheaper than Stanford. So San Francisco State is really close to Stonestown Mall, which is in like the Lake Merced, Manor Heights area. It's a really pretty area. It's definitely a safer area of San Francisco. So it's in a very good location. Now SF State has a higher acceptance rate. It's not as selective as Stanford or Berkeley and that acceptance rate is 72%. San Francisco State is pretty diverse and 
Tuition is going to cost you around $21,000 per year if you are in state. Deadline to apply to SF State is January 31st. So if you're watching this video by the time it's uploaded, I suggest you hop on it now and apply because you still have some time to get your application in. And if you're an international student, you have until May 1st, so that's kind of nice. Some of the top majors that people study at SF State is business, speech, psychology, criminal justice, and biology. So if those are some majors that you're thinking about looking into, then SF State is probably going to be a really good option for you because those are the majors that the school is well known for and they have really good programs for those majors. So the next campus that I'm gonna mention in the Bay Area is the University of San Francisco, which is where I am currently at. So USF is a very small private school and it is affiliated with the Jesuit church, but I want to say that any religion is accepted here. You do not have to be a Christian to attend this university. So I wanted to make that very clear. They are accepting and welcoming of all religions. USF has a little bit of a stricter acceptance rate than SF State. So they have a, an acceptance rate of 65%. Not as selective, but a little bit more selective than SF State. Because this is a private university, it is going to be a lot more expensive. A year's worth of tuition is going to be around $68,000, which is a ton of money. So if you're looking to apply to USF, you have until the 15th of this month to apply. But if you are looking to transfer to the school, then you have until March 1st. So those are some deadlines that you should know about. And some of the top majors that people choose to come to this school for is their nursing school, psychology, marketing, and finance. So if those are some things that interest you and you like, the private field, the small field, because it's a very small campus, but it's absolutely beautiful and in a very great location of San Francisco, then USF would probably be a very good choice for you. These next two schools I'm gonna put together because they're close to one another and they're both in the South Bay. So the first one that I'm gonna mention is San Jose State University, also known as SJ State. San Jose State is obviously located in San Jose, California, and it has an acceptance rate of 55%. So San Jose State is pretty affordable compared to some of the other Bay Area schools. So you're looking at a little over $7,000 per semester if you are in-state, which probably would total around to $15,000 per year, which is a lot better compared to some of the other schools that I've mentioned. It's a very diverse school, so that's a plus there. Some of the most popular majors that people study at San Jose State are psychology, early childhood education, speech, business, arts, computer science, and physical education. The deadline for this school has already passed, so that was on January 8th, but again, don't be discouraged because you can always try again in the spring and apply in the fall. Now, if you are choosing to go here for grad school, depending on what program you are trying to study, the deadlines for graduate programs are a lot later than the undergraduate admission. So be sure to check the program's website and see what the deadlines are because they do vary from department to department. The other South Bay school that I wanted to talk about is Santa Clara University. So Santa Clara University is a small private Catholic school. But again, they are accepting of all religions and you don't need to be Catholic to attend the university. It has a 50% acceptance rate and I will say it's definitely not as diverse as San Jose State. And because it is a private school, it is going to be a lot more money and you're looking around $17,000 per quarter over there. Majors that people usually study at Santa Clara are speech, economics, marketing, psychology, math, and computer science. The deadline for this school has passed. It was January 7th, but the transfer admissions is rolling up until April 15th. So if you are thinking about transferring to this school for the fall semester, then you have plenty of time to still get your application in. This next school I feel like is very underrated and it's located in the East Bay and that is California State University East Bay located in Hayward, California. So 
With CSU East Bay, it is not as selective, but it is at an acceptance rate of 71%. Their affordability rate is kind of the same as San Jose State's where it's around 7,000, maybe a little over per semester. If you are looking to attend this school, you have until March 2nd to apply. If you are looking to go here for a grad school, then you have until June 1st, which is really late, so you have a ton of time to get your application in. So some of the things that people usually study at CSU East Bay are business, health sciences, psychology, sociology, human development, criminal justice, and health and physical education. So this school is really well known for their education department. That is another option if you're thinking about living in the East Bay and you want to pay less in rent or have a different kind of experience away from the city, then this may be a really good option for you. So this next school is a for-profit university, but it is very, very popular among young 20-somethings who are attending school in San Francisco, and that is the Art Academy. So the Art Academy doesn't have any kind of acceptance rate. Anyone can get in as long as you meet certain requirements. And what's great is that they have a huge population of international students. So if you are looking to do something in the arts or the film field and you're coming from another country, what's great is that as long as you're able to meet all the paperwork and have the money to pay for this school, they will sponsor your F1 visa to do so. And then you can easily move to the United States to attend the Art Academy. So tuition is going to be around $26,000 per year. Most things that people choose to study at the Art Academy is film, animation, fashion, computer, graphic design, illustration, and photography. So this is a great alternative option if you're more into the arts and you have a special talent that you want to improve upon or maybe learn more about, then the Art Academy could be a great choice for you. It has a 100% acceptance rate. So this is a great option that you can choose to look into. So the next school that I wanna talk about is on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge out in the North Bay, and that is Sonoma State University. Sonoma State is not very selective. They have a 90% acceptance rate, and it's also a public university. So tuition is going to be be around 16,000 per year. So it's not that terrible in terms of in-state tuition. I don't know what the out-of-state tuition is, but I'm going to assume that it's going to be a lot more than 16,000. Deadline's quickly approaching at January 15th. I recommend you get that application in as soon as possible, but you are close to wine country if you choose to attend this university. So that could be something that could be really fun for you if you enjoy wineries. So some of the common majors that people choose to study at Sonoma State are business, psychology, sociology, education, and liberal arts. If you're looking to attend something in a more wider area near wine country and those are the majors that are interesting to you, then this would be the perfect place for you to attend. Finally, I wanted to mention one more school that's also in San Francisco, and that is UCSF, which is only a graduate program. They only have graduate level programs, and they also have a dentist school, a med school, a nursing school, and a pharmacy school. And then with some of the graduate divisions, you can do something like health sciences, biology. UCSF is obviously going to vary in terms of tuition depending on your program. I know for the regular graduate division, tuition is close to $19,000 per year, but if you're out of state, it's going to be a lot more at $34,000. So that's a lot of money, but this is definitely a good option if you want to go to med school or you want to go to nursing school or whatever the case may be and I definitely recommend you check out UCSF's program out. I don't know what the competitiveness and the acceptance rate is for this school. I couldn't find that information anywhere to be honest with you. Don't disregard it because I do think it has a very great program. So I'm curious to know, if you had to go to school out in the Bay Area, what school would you go to based out of all these? I know I did not name all the Bay Area schools. I definitely named the ones that are more well known or the ones that typically have the highest populations out here in the Bay Area. So comment down below and let me know. If you like this video and if you thought it was helpful and it makes you want to go to college in the Bay Area, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.